I know sometimes in terms of you, you say yourself it takes a lot of time and it involves a lot of uh, processes. Yeah, I know sometimes it's, it's quite frustrating for a SACO who is trying to abide by all this. What are you doing as an umbrella SACO to make sure the, the process is more lenient and more not so time consuming? Well, uh, the process of filling in the form, application form, is not that complicated. But what we have so far done is uh, we've done a lot of sensitizations. Before this act came into effect, we had sensitized the members. When this act came into effect, or before it was even presented in Parliament, we were here at KICC. We uh, had a deliberations with the stakeholders. And when it came into effect, we continued with our sensitization programs across the country to enable them understand the importance for example, somebody would ask you, why the regulation? But we also want to bring back the public confidence, which had waned sometimes before, which, as you have seen, the commissioner's office no longer receives many complaints that it used to receive before. Other than sensitization, we are also helping in developing policies, uh, sometimes uh, do, doing the feasibility studies for these institutions to find if these businesses are viable. We have also been able to assist some actually make the applications themselves. And uh, so far, trainings are all going on as we talk now. And on a number of occasions, we have also engaged SASRA to discuss issues relating to those applicants who want licenses. All right, talking about regulation, as a, an umbrella body, do you have the mandate of reprimanding uh, certain SACOs or SACO officials who engage in maybe corrupt activities? Uh, they are not, we can really not say they are corrupt as much because we have quite a lot of laws which are existing in this country at the moment, like the Kenya Anti-Corruption Authority. We do not have also the mandate to reprimand them. Ours is basically advocacy and also to train them on good corporate governance and also sound financial management. That's why even at the moment we've been striving so hard to avail cheap credit to these institutions to enable them give loans which are cheaper relative to other financial providers. This we've been doing through a lot of collaboration with other financial institutions which give cheaper credit so that we can have a weighted average cost which is reasonable and still below the prevailing rates in the market. Okay, so in cases of mismanagement at SACOs, who has the, the mandate of uh, reprimanding that? Because you also talked about saving the face and improving the image of Cusco. Now, in, in terms of uh, reprimanding, that is the responsibility of the Ministry of Cooperative uh, Development and Marketing. Theirs is supervision, and supervision involves even reprimanding, dissolving the committees, sometimes even liquidating or uh, taking uh, the circles through receiver receivership processes. Yes. All right. In terms of uh, savings, yeah, because of course this is how to save money and you give loans as well. Um, Kenya, Kenyans are getting frustrated that the cost of living is rising and rising. So sometimes it's even hard for them to, to balance between the money they have to save while their expenses are overflowing. Um, has this affected you or the organizations and maybe that's why these uh, late uh, remittances? Well, uh, Liz, uh, you will agree with me that uh, savings is a personal initiative. And uh, when we are talking about savings here, we look at the cooperative model. We are not talking of a situation where you get one million and take it to a circle. But we are talking about a structured form of savings, where you can even start saving 10 shillings a day. 10 shillings a day for 30 days is 300 shillings. 300 shillings uh, in six months, because that is the lead time generally, is about 1,800. 1,800 you can borrow three times 1,800. If you are a mamamboga, you can start your business so that your savings ability is enhanced. I would still encourage Kenyans to save. Uh, the savings that they have in circles is what enables them to access cheap credit. The same savings qualifies them to get dividends which in absolute terms is the highest, I think, within the industry. Because um, the nominal value of a, a share in a circle is about 100 shillings. So if we talk about 7% rate of dividend, we are talking of 7 shillings per 100 shillings. That is far above most of uh, these um, kind of returns we see outside there. But we are also employees. 
we understand that at one point we can get into trouble with our employers. In event that you lose your employment, the savings that you have put in the circle can actually cushion you, can make you start your life afresh. If you are towards retirement age and you saved within your circle, then you can also use that as a retirement package. So you look at the benefits, they are to sitting back there and saying that things will work in your favor. They cannot. So the best way is to ask Kenyans, in as much as we know they are squeezed uh, in terms of cost of living, but we also need to appreciate that these savings are important for their own well-being. We have quite a number of Kenyans. You've seen quite a number of estates coming up along uh, the, 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 the Namanga Road, Nairobi Namanga Road. Most of those uh, buildings coming up belong to SACO members and they have only managed that because they had started saving uh, uh, when they were still young and uh, they realized the importance of these savings and that's what has led to that. All right. yeah. Talking of accessing cheap credit to um, uh, SACO members, what are your rates and how has, been the, how has it been received? Overall, the SACO movement uh, borrowed some 12 percent and uh, is, uh, is not really uh, costed effectively but because of uh, the, the trend, the tradition, they have always fixed it at 12 percent. So as an institution, as Cusco, whenever we are lending to circles we must always avail uh, resources or finance which is cheaper than 12 percent. We normally ensure we let them have about 3 percent uh, margin. You look at also the regulations we are having. External borrowing should not exceed 25% of their overall asset base. But there is also a rider to it that any external finance must be sourced at 2% charge points below the lending rate. So you can see, if, you, uh, if they borrow uh, expensively, it means they cannot lend at 12%. Yes. All right. How has been your um, credit defaulting? What is your experience with credit defaulters? If you um, want uh, a place where the credit risk is not very high, it is within the, within the circles. Because the model talks of save and savings and credit. So it means you must have some savings. So the, the, the risk premium is not high. The default rate is not that high because we also have the social guarantees or the social collaterals where you must know me to guarantee me. If I'm defaulting, you approach me as a friend or as somebody who knows you. So the default rate basically is quite low. All right. Yes. And what is your blueprint as the new MD of Cusco? I can assure you, Liz, there are quite a lot of challenges, but one uh, issue that I would want to have is to diversify our products and also avail cheap credit to the circle movement. Uh, one way that we have done that, we have uh, partnered with the Youth Fund. As we talk now, we are disbursing the Youth Fund very cheaply to assist the youths and also to assist the circles recruit the youth into circles. So it is going to have a two-way effect. It's like throwing one stone to kill two birds. Bring in the youth into the circle movement. I know you belong to probably the Generation Y <laughs> and you need to join a circle. I'm sure you may be having a bank account but you don't have a circle account. True? <laughs> I do. <laughs> the nation, so, we do have so a circle. So one, it will bring in the youth into the circle. But at the same time, they will, the youth will uh, access cheap credit to enable them to start businesses so that they can also increase their savings and also to mitigate against the rising cost of life through those small businesses. All right. Yes. Thank you very much, Mr. George Ototo, for your time.